Hi, my name is Jennifer Roth and I teach link programs for the Girl Scouts. Some of you might recognize me from my gingerbread, crochet, jewelry, and watercolor classes. Today I'd like to show you how to make an origami frog. It's easy enough for even our youngest Girl Scouts, but still fun for any age. Let's get started. You're going to need origami paper, uh, a square piece. If you don't have origami paper, any paper will work. Just cut it into a square. And then we're only going to need half of that square to make our frog. All right, we're ready to fold our frog. If you're using colored origami paper, put it colored side down. Our first fold is to make a triangle aligning this edge. And with every fold, I want you to press down firmly but gently with your fingernail. So fold and unfold. And now let's fold the triangle in the other direction. Being careful to keep our corners and edges nice and precise. Open it again, flip it over, and now we're gonna fold the top edge down, aligning the previous folds that we made before so that this fold is in the center of the X. And again, we flip it over and you'll see the folds that we've made make it fold very naturally into a nice triangle shape. And now we've made the head of our frog. Take the bottom edge and fold it up to meet this triangle. And now we're going to lift this side of the top triangle and we're gonna fold this edge in to the center. Being careful to align this edge here. And as we do very often in origami, we've done something on one side, we're going to repeat that step on the other side. Lift up the triangle Fold this edge into the center, keeping this aligned. Press it down and fold it back out. So now we have the head of our frog. We're going to make his front legs. So we're going to take this point and from here, we're going to make a triangle. Now the shape of your triangle, you will know it's correct when this edge aligns with this edge and they're parallel and we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So now we've made the front legs of our frog. We're gonna fold the bottom up again. Now we're folding several layers this time, so you have to be careful to keep everything nice and square and flat. And crease it with your fingernail. Take this corner and bring it down to make a triangle. And take this corner down to make a matching triangle on the other side. And now we're going to form the back legs. This fold is the most complicated of all that we're doing. You're gonna hold down the rest of your frog and you're going to lift up one side, unfolding and pulling out the center of that fold pulling that point out and pressing it down to bring it out to the side. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Hold down the rest of your frog so the whole thing doesn't come unfold while you do this. So we're grabbing the inside layer and pulling it out like that. And then making sure that it folds nice and flat. And now we're ready to fold our back legs we're going to make a mirrored shape from the front leg. Again, from the center and making sure that these edges are aligned and parallel and then crease. Turn it around and do it on the other side and give it a good crease. And now we have a frog with four legs and we can flip them over. And he looks kind of cute, but he doesn't hop much yet. 
So to make him hop, we're gonna turn his body into a zigzag shape. So we're gonna do that by folding up his back legs about half an inch. And we're folding lots of layers here. So just press it down and gently use your thumbnail to crease it. We can stand him up on his back legs and fold the top half of his body over, aligning our fold with the first fold that we did on the back legs and press that down. And now we have a finished frog who's ready to hop. Oh, and he flipped over. The very last step is to add two eyes for your frog. And now he's ready to join his friends for a game of leapfrog.